Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my Melissa McBride story. So where I left off in the last video, because I didn't want to make this like a 30 minute video because that's a lot to watch at one time. So I thought I'd break this up into two videos. So um, where I left off in the last one was basically saying how my mom had said yes to going to the con and how I went on Twitter and was like, yes, let's do this. I put the countdown in my time, like in my thing, I was all about it. So right away I said, holy shit, I went online, I bought the tickets, I booked a hotel. And um, I was looking into a whole bunch of stuff. My mom, a couple days later, my mom comes up to me and says, you know, what? the more I think about it and the more I talk to your grandma about it, we realize it's a kind of a far drive. If the car breaks down, we're in the States because we're Canadian. She's like, we're in the States. I don't know what goes on with our insurance and blah, blah. Um, there's two girls driving. Like, you know, maybe we should fly. She's like, I will pay. And I told my mom right away, well, I don't want, I didn't want you to have to pay for more expenses because this is a gift for my birthday and I'm really not worth to spend that much money on for the hotel room, um, meals, um, admission tickets, and a flight. Like I am not worth that much, mom. Like even if you combine my birthday and Christmas together because they're in the same month, I am not worth that kind of money. But she was like, no, 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 like we're doing this. Like I will pay it. Like I just want to be more safe. Okay, I'm like, cool, I will look into it. So sure enough, I found some pretty decent flights and I booked a flight to go to Atlanta. So I booked the flight, everything was good, it was cool. My next biggest thing, I was like, I, in my head, I told myself, okay, this probably could be the only time I'll ever meet Melissa, right? What are the odds I'm gonna meet her more than once? She doesn't really do a lot of cons and this might be my only shot to meet her. So go big or go home, right? And so obviously I'm like, okay, I like decided that I was gonna make her some gifts and give her some gifts when I met her at the table. Um, I was only gonna go up once because in my head, I was very much a newbie at cons and didn't realize that you can go up to the table more than once and on both days or whatever. But in my head, I was only gonna probably go Saturday. The con was Saturday and Sunday. I think it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I was only gonna go, I was gonna fly in Friday and then go Saturday and fly out Sunday night, Sunday afternoon. So I was really only gonna be there for Saturday during the day. So I'm like, okay, I have one shot to buy a photo op with her. Uh, I bought a photo op with a few other people too, I believe, um, from like Breaking Bad and like Lori Holt, other people from The Walking Dead as well. Um, but obviously the only table I really wanted to go up to to talk to the celebrity was Melissa So I said I'm gonna I want to bring gifts to her because I want her to know that I am your biggest fan Like well, you know hypothetically like I know there's no big fan No one's any better than other ones But in my head I was like dude like I'm a huge fan Like I want her to know how much I love her I want her to know how much how important she is to me and like I wanted to do something creative for her because I know she appreciates creativity because she likes to, to, to make things. She loves to make hats and paint and do all these things. And I'm like, I appreciate that she likes that and I'm going to respect that and also take some creativity because I feel like if people are going to get gifts, they might like gifts that are more personal that you created yourself instead of just going out and buying or whatever. So I thought I want to do something for her. So I made her some like bracelets um, that had like hope and love or something and I kind of braided them and then had that in the middle and kind of braid like almost like a friendship bracelet and then you could wrap it around your and tie it around your wrist I don't really know how to do a lot of creative things so I was kind of working with what I didn't know which was that so um, I had seen it on like YouTube or like something anyways and I kind of just did it because I know how to braid so I was like cool I'll just braid it right um I made two I think two bracelets um and then I decided for her ultimate gift I'm gonna make her I don't know where it came from but I decided I'm gonna make her a scrapbook so um, I made her this, I, made, I got her this really cute, cause I, I, like I got her this really nice um, scrapbook thing from the scrapbook store here in, in where I live. And um, I kind of brainstormed for a good couple of weeks, almost a month of what I wanted to put in this, in this scrapbook. Um, I'm not going to get into too much detail because it is kind of private and personal. But I um, kind of did like different things like pictures and, and quotes and sayings and different things that... I think of when I think of her, um, things that she did to help me, um, just little quotes and things of who she is and, and who she means to me and who she is to me and all that. Um, and I put a lot, a lot of time and effort into a lot of thought into I organized it very much. I remember sitting there on my apartment floor cutting out pictures and cutting out different quotes and copying and or sorry um gluing and pasting on different things to the pages and like buying little cute decorations and stickers to put on there to decorate it like I really put my heart and soul into that collage um I even made her like a cute little video thing that I look back at now and when I like ugh ugh young Lauren and her stupid like her stupid videos where I thought like I'd have a, a video of like 
Hi, Melissa. It's Lauren. I'm Deuce127 on Twitter. I'm a big fan. I, I love you so much. She means like, I literally did like a video like this on a CD and put it inside the scrapbook for Melissa to watch. Like looking back, I'm like, oh, I cringe. I cringe at that video. But you know what? Four and a half years ago, I was a little bit younger and a little bit more stupider. Like just, just a little bit, but still. Anyways, um, so I cringe, but I did that too. I also had... Um, put a tweet out and on Tumblr, a tweet, I think, and Instagram, something like that, and all different social medias that I was meeting Melissa, and if anybody wanted, who couldn't attend, wanted to send me, like, a letter, um, anything, like, a drawing, anything that they wanted me to give to her, and I, I would. So I had received a few things from different fans that I included in the scrapbook and gave to Melissa. So... I had all been... I was all packed, ready to go. I had bought... In, um, I had bought the... Uh, photo ops I was all ready to go and Halloween came and went and November 1st we had a flight in the morning it was I think it was in the morning yeah Friday Friday morning so we got to the airport we went blah 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 and in the meantime prior to the con I was actually in communication with a lot of different people on Twitter who were also going to that con so because of that we started to bond because we were all going to this convention this brand new convention that had just started up Four and a half years ago, four and a half years ago. So of course we were all bonding over that. We were all really excited. And we we're all going to meet up. And I actually still have, uh, and I'm still actually friends with the majority of those people. Four and a half years later, we still we still meet each other every year at the con, and we do all this stuff. That's a later on we'll talk about that. But sure enough, I uh, made friends because we were all going to the con, so we all met up there. Um, but we were all talking about it. So I got to the con and right away. Um, shout out to my girl Michelle because she was one of the very first people that kind of was there for me in this con. So she kind of knew a little bit about the con and kind of walked me through it. So I got there, I went to my hotel where my mom was like, I'm just gonna lay down, hang out, watch some TV. You go do what you gotta do. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go downstairs because the con was open the Friday night, but I didn't go that Friday. I just kind of checked into my hotel and I was gonna go pick up my tickets. So I went to pick up my tickets on the Friday and I met Michelle downstairs in the lobby of the hotel because there was an affiliated hotel and we all stayed at that hotel that was attached to the convention. Um, so I met Michelle downstairs in the lobby, which is really, really cool because I was one of the very first people I ever met on Twitter and I met in real life. So that was like really, really cool. So shout out to my girl Michelle, who I'm actually still really, really good friends with to this day. So that's really awesome. So I ended up um, meeting her in the lobby and she brought me to the convention to pick up my wristband for Saturday. And the more I talked to her about it, I was like, you know what? At the last minute, they added a Norman Reedus and a Melissa McBride duo photo op, which is Daryl and Carol together. And since I love both of them, I'm like, oh my God, I already have a picture with Norman from Detroit, but how cool would it be to get Melissa and Norman together? But they were only offering the photo op on the Sunday. So the dilemma was there, but it was Sunday morning. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I buy, I wonder if I could still swing it. I only had bought Saturday admission tickets, but I go, maybe I can buy a general, general admission. I wonder if I can buy another general admission ticket for Sunday. So I went up there, I picked up my Saturday ticket and then I went to a different line and I said, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna do it. I was texting my mom, can we, I'm, I'm gonna buy a ticket just for myself for Sunday. You don't have to come, you can just sit in your hotel room, check out, hang out in the lobby, have a drink. I will meet you after the photo op. So sure enough, I bought a Sunday admission ticket solely so that I could go in and get that picture with um, Norman and Melissa because I thought it'd be epic, which it is epic. So let me tell you, totally worth it. So. Um, I got that ticket, I got, then I went into photo ops, bought the photo op ticket, and then luckily they weren't sold out at that time, so I came back, and I was like, okay, cool, we're good, and let's do this. So then I went, and we started walking around the con a little bit, getting the feel of it, right? So we took some pictures with Michelle, it was really cool. I went back to the hotel, we had dinner with my mom, um, I went back to the hotel room, and then uh, went to bed. Barely could sleep. Who can sleep when you're meeting your freaking idol for the very first time ever, okay? So I went to bed, barely slept. Woke up the next day, got ready, was like shaking with excitement, nerves, everything. Like I was just, but can you blame me, really, right? Who can blame you when you're meeting your favorite person in the whole world, whoever that may be? It's, you get nervous, you get excited. So sure enough, um, as we're leaving the hotel, I remember the euphoric feeling that I was feeling as I'm closing the hotel door to go to the con. Um, the first thing I had in the morning was a photo op with somebody from Breaking Bad. 
I believe it was Gus from Breaking Bad. If you guys remember him, shout out to Breaking Bad because that show was awesome and I miss it so much. I binge watched the crap out of that. But I had a photo op with Gus. Um, I believe that was his name. Shit, it's been a long time. The guy that got half his face blown off, I believe it was Gus. I think. So I had a photo op with him right away in the morning. So I couldn't go right to Melissa's line like I wanted to her autograph line. So I went in line. The photo op was really, really quick. So I, that was my first, I was like, whoa, this is cool, right? So the whole time I'm, I'm in line for the photo op, Michelle um, is texting me, I'm, oh my God, I'm in line for, Mel I'm in line at Melissa's autograph line. I'm freaking out. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So of course I'm like really nervous. I'm like, let's get this photo op over now so I can run to Melissa's line and go and wait in line because I'm super stoked now. Michelle is getting me super stoked. I need to go, like, let's do this. So I get in line, I take my photo op with Gus. He was a sweetheart. He pulled me close. It was great. I booked it to Melissa's line. On the way to Melissa's line, I got a text message from Michelle saying, oh my God, I'm never gonna leave what happened to me. I was in line to meet Melissa and she shouted out my name in, in the crowd and said, is that Michelle? Hi, Michelle, kind of thing, right? She pointed her out in a crowd. In a crowd full of people, pointed her out. I'm like, Melissa knew who you were in a crowd of, of, crowd of people? That is epic. Like, that's epic. Like, she obviously knows you from Twitter. That's crazy that she knows your Twitter. She knows who you are, knows your face, and pointed you out in a huge crowd of people like who were in line to get her autograph like a ton of people and she spotted your face like blew my mind I'm like Michelle that's amazing like I was like so excited for her and she kept saying Lauren dude if she does it for me she's gonna do it for you because I tweeted the shit out of her because I love Melissa so I tweeted her all the time every day every day every day since 2012 I was like it was like a year at that point almost and I was just tweeting her and tweeting her and tweeting her like it was a year worth of tweets so she's like Lauren if she knows me she gonna know you I'm like no no Michelle stuff like that doesn't happen to me I'm lucky enough if I go up into the line I'd be like hi I'm Lauren Dukes127 you probably don't know me I'm super annoying and she may or may not say yeah I know you she might lie to make me feel bad so she doesn't make me feel bad but she probably has no idea who I am I'm like that's how it's gonna go down okay and it's just funny because that's in my head what I thought was going to happen. So sure enough, um, I get in line. And I'm just like, I see Michelle. Like as I'm going into the line, Michelle's leaving, okay? And she's coming out of the line. And she's like shaking because she's like, I just met, she's crying. She's shaking everything that I would do. And she's like, I just met Melissa. It was so amazing, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh my God. So she's like, I'm going to wait for you to go in line. So I get in line in the general admission line. And sure enough, I'm like, okay, we're going to do this, okay? So I get in line and I'm like, okay, like here we go. So I'm getting in line. I'm like, I take my a huge ass scrapbook, my little gift thing with my bracelets that I made her and my huge ass scrapbook. And I'm holding it like this. And I'm just like staring at her. Everyone's in the line facing the other way, like this way. And cause the line goes like a snake. So at this point I was supposed to be facing my back to Melissa, but I was like, mm -mm, girlfriend, this girl, like seeing Melissa alive, living and breathing, standing right here in front of me and not on my TV screen is a big deal. I'm like, I'm going to stare at her. I'm going to stare at her. I'm going to watch her interact with her fans. I'm just going to like embrace it, take it in, say this person is like literally standing right there. She's right there. She's not on my TV screen. She's not on my, t on my phone. She's literally right there. I'm going to stare at her. So in the midst of me doing that, She's with a fan looking down and I'm staring at her like this because I'm mesmerized by this person that she's right there in front of me, right? Not on my phone, not on the TV, there. She looks up and goes, is that Lauren? Staring at me in the eye with the crowd of people around me and says, is that Lauren? And my mom was, even my mom was like, girl, celebrity status, who are you? And I was like, everyone's like staring at me. I'm like, yeah and she's like oh. and she kind of smiled at me and kept going and kept going back to the person she was with I'm like I'm looking around I was like like take me now like I was literally like freaking out because I was like she knows who I am like the exact same thing she did to Michelle she did to me what are the odds I don't have that kind of luck ever in anything in my life so the fact that she did that to me I cannot tell you enough how much that blew my mind. How much that blew my mind. She looked at me, knew me from Twitter, knew my face from my stupid little Twitter profile picture, knew who I was in a crowd of people with me holding my stupid scrapbook like a little schoolgirl, and knew that I was Lauren. Knew that I was Lauren. And sometimes to this day, I feel like it was a dream. So I had, and thank God my mom was with me because I could be like, hey mom, I remember back when we went to meet Melissa the very first time, she called my name in a crowd of people, crowd of people right 
And my mom's like, yes, Lauren, yes, she did. I was there. Yes, she called your name. I'm like, okay, thank you. Because sometimes I feel like it was a dream and I want to make sure. So, of course, from that point in time, I was dead. Like, deceased on the floor, had to be dra- I was dead. So, right away, I'm texting Michelle. Dude, the same thing happened to me. She just called my name in a crowd of people. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And she's like, I told you, I told you. Like, Michelle, this stuff doesn't happen to me. Like, I was freaking out. So then I guess next next in line, and my mom is filming it on the phone, right? She's trying to be nonchalant about it, but she's filming it because I'm like, film it, film this shit. This shit is gonna be watched a million times. This is my this is my everything right here. So my mom's like, okay. I'm like, if they tell you to turn it off, turn it off. But until then, just kind of hold the phone like you're holding it, pretend like you're not filming, but actually film. So I'm like, do it. So um, she's like, okay, cool. So I get up there in line, and then sure enough, she's like. She's looking down and the girl's like, hey, this is for this girl. So my little ticket with my name on the photo, like on the picture to be signed is there. So she knows it's to Lauren. She sees Lauren, grabs the pen to start signing, goes like this, to, sees me, makes I, oh my God, Lauren, you were like, you're here already. Like you were over there in line and all of a sudden now you're right here. Oh my God. Like she knew that I was the person that she said hi to in the crowd of people. And she's like, how did you get from there to here so fast? Mind you, it was like an hour. It was not fast, but to her it's fast because she's got tons of people going through. So, but I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she came and reached over the table to hug me. And I was like, <laughs> Melissa McBride is hugging me. Like I was like this, shaking like this, like stuttering. Oh my God. Okay. And she spent a good five or so minutes, five minutes talking to me, talking to me at the table for five minutes. She looked through my scrapbook. She opened the bracelets. She took like three minutes to sign my autograph. She wrote like a paragraph this long of tons of stuff and took her sweet time laughing. Somatic. She stopped to think about what else she wanted to write. She was very thoughtful. Needless to say, she was very thoughtful in what she wrote and then hugged me again as I was leaving and then said, um, she also acknowledged, she did see my mom filming it. She had no problem with it. She's actually even talked into the camera. Like if you go on my channel, I have the whole thing filmed. It's on my channel. It's a good five minutes, but it's a good watch. So um, she never said anything about it. She was okay with it. And I do have it on my channel if you want to watch it. It's also linked in my bio on my Twitter. So because it's the best moment of my life, it's the very first time I met Melissa. So sure enough, I'm like, yeah, I have another photo op with you. And then I have a photo op thing tomorrow later on in the day. So at my photo op, another thing was uh, my photo op, I, um, I'm going to just make this into a three-parter, I think, actually. So hold that thought. I will be right back. 